Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Broad Motherfucking Topics. I'm your host, Kim Congdon, here with my co-host. It's Alex Scarlato. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. This is going to be a good episode. We've, We've got another special episode for everybody. They keep being special, and they keep getting more special. Er. Ed. You call him a retarded? <laughs> uh, you hear his voice. It's the great Mark Norman. Hey. hey. Uh, yes. Thank Speaking you for coming special, on. How about that new Victoria's Secret model? Oh, yeah. Can we take a look? Yeah, please. She's yeah. Uh, she's... She's really something else. She's hotter than me, I'll tell you that. She's, She's hot. Good looking Puerto Rican. Yeah. I um, f- feel like I would get dumped for her. <clears throat> yeah, I can see that. Well, she's probably easier to manage, you know? <laughs> Low maintenance. That's candy. <laughs> candy. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, look how cute. She's but, cute. Uh, are we she's... allowed to like her? Are they supposed to be sex to... symbols or not? I don't get it. I, exactly. Like, that's the question. It's well, because confusing. Victoria's Secret, the problem is that Victoria's Secret is very sexy. So are we supposed to be like, yeah, when, I, when you see a Victoria's Secret model, the thought, you're, they're not trying to make the thought like, she's cute. Right. They right. want to be like, I want to fuck this chick. Well, were, were we ever lingerie. even supposed to respect them in the past? Was the thought even supposed to be, I respect that no. woman? No, you I know, don't think so. like no. never. So why are we putting all of these? I don't know. So we should all want to fuck this girl. It just, yeah, we should all want to fuck this girl. But it just seems like they're completely rebranding to like be inclusive. We're the every girl, right? But she's still pretty, so they're they're inclusive, but they're still shallow. You know, it's they should have saved her for Gap. Yeah. <laughs> no, what they need to do is get a truly hideous model. Then I will believe exactly what they're doing. Yes, like I'll believe their new mission when they have a, a girl that we how, that we look at and none of us can say she's beautiful. Mm. You know, I'll what tell I mean? you something. I've seen a few websites like the new clothing stores that are doing that now, where the models are like kind of like ugly and like. Their bodies People are, like are always still finding a way to say that they are drop dead beautiful, though, right. in the comments. If you open up comments on any yeah. of them. But I will say, if I do see a girl that looks uglier and the outfit looks good on her, I am more likely to buy it. Is that right? Yeah, because then I'm like, if it looks good on her, uh-huh. it'll look good on me. That's because a great it's not point. like when it's on a skinny model, of course, everything looks good when you're like skinny and your face is reconstructed to look good. It's a great point. Yes, yeah, so a model should be uglier. Yeah, they We're should be. We're trying to relate to the hideous common people. Yeah. We're all gross. Comedians do it. Yes. We're fucking gross. Every time I see a comedian, like every time I'm on like the road or like and, and I look at us as people, I'm like, yeah, we're all pretty. Well, there's we're just a... like normal looking, but we go on stage. It's very weird. There's a thing called comedy hot. I was you just, know? yeah. And yeah, I know. Because when you see a hot <laughs> yeah, comedian, I'm first... familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Your first thought is like, you know, you see a hot comedian on a poster, you're like, what are they doing? They're not supposed to be here. Yeah. We're ghouls and misfits and idiots and gross. But then also the comedy, as a non comedian, I feel that the comedy itself brings like average to hot. Like people think comics are hot because you're funny. It carries so much weight, you know? All right. Hallelujah. Yeah. So like Thank I feel God. like I think of comedians as being generally slightly more attractive than just the regular people. Interesting. Well, um, we're more interesting than Brad Pitt. Everybody's like, Brad Pitt, I'd love to fuck him, but I'm like, I'd show you a better time. I guarantee you. For yeah, sure. Have more fun. Yeah. Yeah, but people don't care about that in Instagram pictures. Good point. So sure. you write a funny caption. Yeah. But you know, girls, it's uh, girls that don't care. Guys care. Yeah, we're shallow. You guys are so shallow. And we get shit for it, but it's just how we're wired. Like, get mad at the wire. I don't know. Which is how who we are. Women like tall guys. I got high the other day, and I thought it was men and women were different because of the way we breathe. I told you that. Yeah, you said it was, mm. a, it was a thought you had before bed that felt like it came from the gods. Like, it yes. was like a, a fundamental truth of yes. reality. I that think you I got realized. sent a message, like, and they were like, men and women are different because you guys breathe. At like a different men, rate, men and breathe I think faster your thoughts is what shift she with your breath. She thinks that women do more breath work and are able to like that is such tune a high in, thought. tune <laughs> into the spirituality of the universe better yeah. because of their breath work. Did right. I really describe I was, that well? Yeah, I was high. <laughs> and then you think it's the most genius thing, and your brain is like, "Oh my god!" Then you wake up and you're like, "Yeah." Yeah, and you're like that. There's, I mean, it's like when you do a whip it. I don't know if you guys have ever done a whip it and learned God sent you a 
divine message that you were like, I'll never be sad again. That's exactly now I know what truth. it felt like. It felt yeah. like when I did a whip it and I saw, okay, we're, we've done whip it. Yeah, I can see that. Have you done a whip it? Whip it's, I don't think I have done a whip it. Whip it's will tell you the truth, but only for 30 seconds. Wait, is and that <laughs> the whip cream? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've done a whip And it. as soon see? as you yeah. process, you're like, I'm so excited that I just understood this thing that I've always been wondering about. And you like feel that excitement for a second. And as soon as you allow yourself to feel it, you forgot the thing that you were excited yeah. about. But wait. Sucks. When you say you've done a whip it, have you done it just with the whipped cream? Can? Yes. Okay. In no, the store. No, you gotta, I call you gotta that get a... the canisters that just have the air. You did them. the Adderall of whip it. You gotta do got pro it. whip it. You did the cocaine. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> I know, we did the meth one. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, yeah, no, it was with uh, when I was in high school, I worked at a restaurant and I was like too young to get like a real, it was a bar actually. And I was too young to get like a job at the bar so I was just like a food runner technically which is the only way I could work so young there mm -hmm. but I would hang out with all the people that worked there that were older and there was this girl that lived at the house behind me and she was like 20 years old and, and I would go you're to like 15? 15 and I would go to her house Bad with all her friends already. and we, I would do whippets with them nice and like three of them are dead now yeah, yeah. yeah. and I made it dude Hell I fucking yeah. made it you're still here yeah. well you know why you made it because you didn't turn into a 20 year old who was having 15 year olds over to do whippets Ooh. you yes. made it because you were on the younger side of that yeah good point yeah well, I yeah. got a lot of dead friends methadone was Methadone. big. That was isn't big that the one. stuff to get off of it exactly that kills you oh yeah well you do enough anything you do enough cookies, they'll kill you. But they did a lot of methadone. They were hooked and done. Damn. OD'd. OD'd on the methadone. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, dude, it's a, it's rough. I, I, my town, so many people were on drugs in my town. We knew a girl in my school that fucked her dad for drugs. No. Whoa. And everybody knew. How did everybody come to know that? I think one person knew, and then everyone, everyone knows. Pull her up. <laughs> Who was <is> that? <laughs> Natalie Cuomo. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. All right. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh man, once you fuck your dad for drugs, I feel like your entire life is over. I yeah, hate yeah. to say it. Where how's how do you come back from that? I gotta tell yeah. you every once in a while I'll check I check her out on the old Facebook. She's mm -hmm. She's got a social good. media presence. Yeah, it's but it's like constant <laughs> motivational quotes. You know when someone's doing bad when it's like yes. constant like it's all quotes so, about like uh, changing yourself yeah. and like stuff like that. That's how I know a relationship's falling apart too. Yes. When the girl is like, and I just love him so much. I wake up every morning and oh, it's just too much. There's a girl who's fucking her stepdad going, at least I'm not her. <laughs> Damn, that is tough. Fucking one, the dead. One time I fucked a guy that I was friends with for like very good friends with that I truly only considered a friend. I always told him he'd, very much felt like a brother to me. And then when I had sex with him, I felt really wrong about it. I mm. felt like I actually fucked someone I was related to. Incest. Have Weird. you ever done that? Related? No, not related. <laughs> oh, oh, I am from Louisiana. No. You, you, no, you're like every girl, as long as she's not my blood. Yeah, Could have yeah. been. You know, I can really turn that part off. Is I it because you breathe faster? Yes. <laughs> How fast is your breath? <laughs> Pretty quick. I don't queef either. <laughs> I feel like that's there's true. no dude who's going to be like, I don't want to fuck you because you're like a sister to me. Like that's a girl's only feeling pretty much that yeah. we have. I've I... done that though. I've had sex with somebody who I was like really close friends with who I was like, this is kind of weird mm -hmm. um, in college. And it, it was the same guy. I talked about him on last week's episode. The same guy who went down the pill road after that story. Uh, Zach Amico. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Not easy. It's tough. You know what's interesting about ladies, too, is like you guys will really be interested in a guy and turned on by a guy and then have sex with him and pull a full 180 and be like, what was I thinking? He's so gross. I'm ugh, just it's the called thought the of ick. him. It's the the ick. ick. Yeah. yeah. What it's is that? Ick. I don't know, but it is. It is. I was thinking. Thing. I was thinking like if I was dating women. It would be so difficult because I would constantly be worried about giving them the ick. It's just one oh. thing. It's one thing that happens. I've asked a guy, I'm like, are there ever things where I do one thing and you're just done and you're grossed out and you never want to look at me again? And they're like, no, you do gross me out sometimes, but I do want to look at you again. <laughs> sure, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it all. No, this is. But this for a woman, it's over. This... Once you get the ick, it can never go away. Really? It this might blow your mind. Away. So with my ex-boyfriend, the thing that gave me the ick, and we were dating for a while. We were dating for like seven months before I broke up with him. The thing that gave me the ick was one night I realized how 
loudly he stomps his feet walking <laughs> around. That was it? And that was all it took. I was wow. like, that is disgusting. The man can't be quiet. Like he's literally like bumbling all over the house. Right. I remember Alex called me and she's like, I know where he is at all times. She's wow. like, that's so unattractive. He can't sneak up on me. It's gross. It's unattractive. I couldn't right. fuck him. I truly could not. I felt every time I had sex with him after like after that, it felt like I was raping myself. Wow. Like I was like, it was completely for his benefit. It was not for me. Man, the foot that's st- gotta be a biological thing in the female body that causes this. It's got to be some survival thing or something. Yeah, like he's a bad hunter. Right. Something <laughs> yeah, going on yeah. He wouldn't have been able to bring home food to right. you. It grossed me out. I don't know. And it was very sudden. I was like, nope. So now it's that entire part of my brain for you is shut off. Mm-hmm. I can't help it. I was sad about it for a while. I was calling her. I was like, should I break up with him? I don't know wow. what to do. Or like seeing a guy do something like silly. Silly? I thought oh, silly was fun. Silly gets me... I don't know. It Every, depends. Like, Hold on. Like what? Like silly armpit? is fun. Armpit fart? What are we talking about? No, silly? Like, We're talking embarrassing silly, I think. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, like there was this guy. Oh, there was this guy I was dating. He was pretty cool. Pretty nice. But I get... <laughs> this is, you're going to love this, Mark. Oh, boy. In college, he was a Q. Q and no, on? No. <laughs> no Queer? The, the black Q. The black ones that Q. dance and stomp. Oh, that's cool. Like the step team I don't cues. know what cues are. I didn't know look that. Up, well, look up Q fraternity dancing. This is like the Jabberwockies it's like kind this, of thing? No, it's like the super, like they do these like, it's like a black fraternity and they do like. Stomp? S- they know, they come into parties and just like up. sexualize up. women. Mm. It, was that in the clip? Whoa, <laughs> what was <laughs> that? You know what? I liked. Kill up. Whenever. <laughs> no, no, no. You got to get him at a party. <laughs> you gotta get him at a party. You can't get him out in public oh, they do during like, the day. No, this, I think this is like a competition. You want no, him at a party? No, no, no. Gotcha. Yeah, I want them at a party. So they show up as a team to a frat party. You at a p- frat party, and they like put women like on their shoulders, and like it's like Whoa. it's like a magic mic, but black fraternity. Got it. And okay. they're stepping hot. And I was dating, and, and it's hot. It sounds and it's hot. hot when you're in college, and it's hot. But after college, when you're having ramen and you're almost 30 with a girl, you shouldn't be doing like the, he was doing like the step moves outside of the ramen place to the music. Uh. You have to tell me who this was later. <laughs> and I could never, ever go back to him again. Interesting. It was, and he was like, great. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was one guy that uh, took me to an airplane show. Like a Blue Angels? Yes. And the way he was so into it and smiling, oh, fuck I was fucking done, dude. I was me at an airplane show, by the way. I get autistic for the way they zoom past you. He was like, he was like, he was like, whoa. And uh, I was like, oh, I'm not going to have a guy, whoa. Like, right. That's no. a little make a wishy. Yeah. You know? yeah. It's a little down. Oh, I don't mind child like awe in it's a boy. Okay I, couldn't date, a I couldn't date Harrington if I didn't mind, if I minded a little child like awe. In I a could, man. yeah. The way, yeah. Yeah, the way Harrington awes, I could never. Oh. Harrington is amazed it's by everything. It's perfect for a friend. Uh, that's kind of cute, though. Look at it's him. Endearing. He just turned over. Uh, it's so cute. And wet, wet Alex and dried me up all in one. It's crazy. It's yeah. crazy. I have that with friend, guy friends. If I see a guy trying to rap sincerely, like a white guy I know, I'm like, we're done. I can't watch you do that. You know, he's like, yo, 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 oh, do all yeah. this shit. I'm like, I can't. Rapping we can't sincerely be friends. is bad. Yes, on a girl's note, have you ever, especially as a teenager, had a girl try to show you her singing, her singing voice for the first time? Uh, Dude, and this, you're in a room with her having to listen to her fucking sing directly at you? At, uh, girl, at girl sleepovers, the girl that sang would always go like this. I'm going to sing, but everyone turn around. Oh. You can't look at me. <laughs> you know, oh. Isn't that so true? true? <laughs> that we didn't so even grow true. up at the same sleepovers. Yeah, it's really the unawareness. <laughs> unawareness is the most unattractive thing. Just being not knowing that you look horrific and cringy. There was a girl at my bus stop that was like a bully. She was fucking terrifying. She was this emo. Ch- she looked like she worked at a Hot Topic. And mm-hmm. you know those kids in high school that look like they're like 25? Like- it's like, bitch, yes. how long have you been we had here? A girl, yeah. We had a girl named Brenda in our high school. I later on became friends with her, but early on, me and my friends used to be like, that girl looks like she needs <laughs> Like an help. undercover cop. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right. Why is she here? <laughs> but you guys have the opposite of the ick, too, where you sleep with a guy who might not be the greatest guy, maybe not the greatest lay or, or funniest, but you're just super into him. Yeah. Well, and that, then you don't know why. Thing? Yeah. Sometimes you don't know why. Your your ladies are getting fucked biologically by all these thoughts. Like you got to yes. now you got to fall in love with this guy that you don't even like because you fucked him or now you got to stop loving this guy cuz he has a stompy foot. 
<laughs> that sucks. You both apply. <laughs> yeah, that's really crazy. Yeah. It's not easy. I don't know. I don't know really know what to say about it. I know, it's tough. I I feel like overthinking it is an issue. You know? Of course. So you just got to go with how you feel. Yeah. You got to go with what makes you feel good. Yeah, I guess that's true. And stop thinking about all of the like side issues, you know? Yeah, they say after you fuck a guy, ladies think in your mind, it's like, oh, well, we're going to be a family and I'll have his kid because that's what sex is for, is reproducing. Mm -hmm. So you have to like kind of fall in love mm -hmm. because you want to take care of the kid, even though it was a one night stand. Is well, that... sometimes I fuck a guy and I'm like, absolutely not. Yeah. Oh, like, really? Fall... Yes. That's no, it's me. not every time. No, it's it's very rare that I have sex with a guy and I'm like, this is the guy I need to be in love with. But <laughs> yeah, but like it does happen more than it <clears throat> happens for guys for sure. Oh yeah, like there's oh, guys yeah. that I've hooked up with once that I'm like, <laughs> feel a little in love with. Yeah, and I'm like, I could marry that guy because yes. the sex was so good. Right, right. If the sex is good, you feel like you can marry them. The end. So true, <laughs> my gal. I disagree with that. Uh, oh really? It very much depends. Yeah, because the sex could be good with somebody who is just straight up unmarriable. Like I feel like I definitely want to have okay, kids, fine, and I true. take it. I take ha the idea of having kids really seriously, and I don't just want to do it with anyone. Like but you don't I want to change him. You don't want to like fix him. No, that sounds really like exhausting. I want to live my <laughs> life and have somebody who's just themselves. Well, that's a sane thought, I think. Yeah, the it fixing sounds, is weird. I don't want to have to put much work into who my partner is at all. I'm trying to put work into who I am. I just watched Alex convince Harrington for 20 minutes the other day that soft sheets are better than firm sheets, so I have no idea what she's talking about. I'm not trying to change yeah. him. The man, I'm trying the... to get him to admit that he could feel the difference between the hospital sheets and the expensive nice sheets that I buy for us. What he could I don't think that's changing him. What about the clan sheets? <laughs> <laughs> Those are uh, high thread count. It just, it does drive me crazy that he is truly arguing that the that those sheets I mean they're like paper Kim they're the all sheets are like when like I go to the gynecologist and they lay out that paper that you lay uh, on the butcher paper that's what he sleeps in he's like they feel normal they're fine <laughs> I don't want to change and they he like... doesn't sleep in those he sleeps in the sheets that I bought for our bed but I've just been arguing that the guest bed can't have those shitty sheets on them they have to have nice sheets for that's when fair. our friends stay over that's fair I don't think that's trying to change a man though that's no, just no. like yeah that's weird you're no. sleeping on like a puppy pad yeah yeah it's bad <laughs> Crazy. And I was a bedwetter, so I could sleep on some crinkle shit. <laughs> yeah, same. I wet the bed till really? I was eight. It's yeah. rare in women. How old? How old? Probably thirteen. Ooh, thirteen. Sleepover. Loser. I peed on a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like R. Kelly. Yeah, I was like eight or nine, I think, but still too old. All my friends yeah. are like for real. I know. We, Interesting. Did you stay up all night? What was your move? Um, I just wouldn't feel it. Mm. My thing is like I would go to sleep and I would wake up and there would be pee in the bed and I was like, mm -hmm. I have no clue. I can't feel it. There's no indication. How did, how did this happen again? Yeah. 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 It builds character, I think. It does. I've heard that they're like bedwetters are creatives. Like they're and, like, and they have like killers. taxing, yeah, shit really? in common. Yeah. Yeah. I was a bedwetter and I'm left handed. Something's wrong. Whoa. Yeah. You're all creative. Yeah. Damn. You'd think you'd be doing better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we hit a thousand views. <laughs> we will. We will. We're learning a lot because I'm fascinated with women and all that stuff, but you guys hide everything. And then you're like, well, men don't get us. And we're like, just tell us, we'll get it. What do you what do you have any questions? I got a million questions. Okay. Now I'm going blank. But uh okay. How okay. do you come? Yeah. <laughs> Is the clit real? No. <laughs> Let's see. You guys want kids? We both do. You do? We do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I truly, yeah, I do a lot less than I used to, but I think only because I now as an adult, I see the reality of having a child and it makes you want it a lot less. That's crazy. Me too. I used to want it so badly and now I know that I still want it, but as I get closer to it, it becomes scarier. So I'm Ooh. like, feel like, like when I was 22, I wanted to do it like soon. And now right. that I'm 29, I'm like, I could probably wait another couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. 36. Maybe. I'm thinking 35. 35. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you got it all mapped out. 35 seems about right. And you want two? Can't have one. one. I'm having one. Really? Yeah, I think I'll do one. I'm an only child, so I want to have two. Aha. Uh -huh. If I have two, I'd like for them to be very close in age, and that just seems like I'll be fat for so long. Yeah, don't you I get can't scared think of, of it like that. pregnancy? It seems gross. Every time I see a pregnant stomach, it makes me nauseous. <laughs> I promise I'm, you right I'm, now, I, I'm going to bounce back 100% in 10 minutes from pregnancy, right and I now. have to tell myself that in order to go through with it, so mm -hmm. just believe that. 
And it'll no, be true. but I'm not. Manifest I'm it. Puerto Rican. I'm going to get so fat. <laughs> yeah, that I'm gonna get so fat, dude. But your nails will look great. Oh, yeah, yeah. so cute. I'm gonna love you as a little fight mama. <laughs> Thank you. I think it'll be adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Good. I hope you'll fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish ladies like there's a lot of crazy ladies in comedy, and I'm like, have a kid. I bet you'll like normalize because you'll just be focused on keeping this alive. What's so funny? I always felt that way about teachers growing up. I would notice that like. Teachers were always like a fucking like the teachers who had reputations for being a fucking bitch. Once mm. they had their first kid, turned into the nicest teachers ever. Yes, exactly. It humanizes you. Yeah, Dude, teachers when they first showed you how mean they were after the first couple of days, it shocking. was insane. <laughs> Dude, it was like shocking. it was like a goosebumps episode. It was like they would like there's a monster in the house. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy how they would shift. It was almost abusive. Oh yeah. They would go from being so normal to screaming. They would scream. scream. Yeah. I think my te- I think I've been hit by a teacher. Me too. Yeah. Imagine screaming at children as an adult. And like they just go home and try to get laid and eat dinner. That's crazy. Isn't that wild? That's it's wild. It's crazy. Insane. Yeah. Remember seeing your teacher at outside of school once? Uh. You're like, whoa, what are you doing here? You have a life? Uh, I've talked about it before. I used to party with my the one teacher that was fucking students in high whoa. school. Whoa. Well, not party. We'd play poker. Guy or girl? I wouldn't girl? call it partying. That's partying enough. It's not partying. I wasn't allowed to drink. You guys were gambling. Yeah. I was allowed to gamble. It was me, two local policemen. (laughs) What? And a couple teachers. Florida's wild. Oh, Florida. There we go. I was like, you grew up in Wuhan? What's going on here? All right, guys. uh, Let's take another second to talk to you about one of our favorite sponsors. It's rockauto.com, the online store with every auto part at the best prices. This is your one-stop shop for everything auto parts, rockauto.com has been in business for 20 years and they make it easy to find the parts you need at the best possible prices. No more talking to counter guys who need to order your parts, aren't really sure what you're looking for, never have quite what you need, and then after all the hassle, we'll still charge you storefront markups. At rockauto.com, you can easily find everything you need and whether you're a mechanic, an auto shop, or just working on your own car, everyone has access to the same incredible pricing at rockauto.com. So if you're a car guy, right now go to rockauto.com and check out all the parts available for your car trust me you're gonna have a blast looking at car parts so one more time that's rockauto.com r-o-c-k-a-u-t-o.com there's no promo code needed because their pricing is already that good when you order just make sure to tell rockauto.com that you heard about them on broad topics podcast all right let's get back to the show okay here's one for the ladies okay you like you hate nice guys but you want guys to be nice. You know, like, oh, he's a nice guy. doesn't really I, turn me on. I but, love this question. But then you're like, ah, he's such a dick. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you hate nice guys. And then you're mad he's a dick. I think that there is such a fucking fine line. It's like, I want a nice guy that's also an alpha male. Mm. And I think that there, that is just so, un- that's like the thing that everybody wants. And that's why it's so uncommon and it's hard to get. Because you want the nice guy that also can't be pushed around. Uh huh. And Got that it. is not a very common trait. Sure. Okay, like, good answer. I like a guy who's nice to me and not as nice to other girls. Exactly. That's exactly <laughs> it's really how nice. I, that's exactly how I feel too. Yeah. And that's like one of the one of the biggest things in my older relationships is like that guy that I didn't like that they were nice to other girls too. Oh, okay. Because I, I like seeing a guy when he has a girlfriend kind of ignore me. I don't know. It's like doesn't insult me. I kind of feel like it's respectful. I don't know. All right, that's good to know. Is that weird? No, a little. Not, no, no, I'm different. Not, not I like, like seeing. I like seeing. Okay, Mike. Mike is a flirt. We all no, know that. Not is a, he really? And I'm Mike? not talking. And I'm not talking about a friend. I don't want a friend with a girlfriend to ignore me. But a guy I don't really know that's an acquaintance shouldn't be talking to me a lot while he has his girlfriend around. There's nothing. Hmm. He doesn't need to be getting to know me. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I disagree. Just, you do? I think it depends on the dude. Like, uh, like I know that Mike is like a flirt. I've been friends with him for such a long time before we started dating that like I feel like I just really know. I've never seen him come across a girl and not be flirting momentarily. Yeah. Um. But I, I like seeing him like talk to a girl and just recognize that he's being he's just being kind of dismissive. Like, 
You know? <laughs> That's it's, what I mean. He's though. like talking to a girl, but be like and giving her whatever attention she's like looking for, but not in the same way that he talks to me. We're totally saying the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we're saying okay. the same thing. I don't want him to fool me, ignore me, but he shouldn't be interested in me while he has a girlfriend. He should be dismissive of me. Right. I like wow. seeing a guy right interesting almost being dismissive of me. Yeah, because it's respectful to your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. But I think you're thinking and of then, it. And then and then I want to fuck you more. Like something about that turns me on. Being dismissive to another girl. Right. Wait, wait, oh, you want to fuck your boyfriend more if he's yes. dismissive? Got yes, it, got yeah. It. If he's dismissive to other girls but still talks to them and is friendly but is like doesn't give a Just fuck about them. Just the right amount of friendliness. Like, I, like, I'll be so nice. I'll be the best time around you, but I don't give a fuck about you. Yeah. Right. It's so hot. It's really, it's tr <laughs> truly so hot. And men can't do that and they can't control themselves and that's why we don't want to fuck you guys. There you go. Because you yeah. guys act like fucking weirdos as soon as another girl comes around. It's like they're all weird and shaky. or that's and true. then it, And then you're, and then sometimes they go overboard when they find a girl really attractive and you see them try not to, that shit will ruin the whole mm. fucking night. <laughs> when you guys are trying not to notice the attractive girl and we notice and I'm like, oh, he's all fucking flustered over here. Right. He can't even focus. See, this oh, is that good shit stuff. pisses me off. See, no guy has any idea about any of this. That's, that's why, why we do this podcast. That's why it needs to be done. There's a video on YouTube all these guys pass around of a woman just looking at the camera going, this is what women want, this is what we like, this is what turns us on. And it's fucking amazing because it's like, we just want to know, but no one will tell us. Yeah. I mean, don't you agree when you see him getting flustered around a girl and he's like trying to keep, do you ever notice that? No. No? No. Okay, maybe. I, I also watch like a hawk of Puerto Rican dude. <laughs> That's a turn off when he's <laughs> flirt, like talking nicely to another girl. No, I, it's fine no. if he's nice. It should, yeah, he's it should still be has nice. to be dismissive. It should be nice. It, it. It's a weird combination of like, like I feel like I want the girl to want him yes. and know that she can't have him. Ah, yes. now we're getting there. So like he, he should almost be flirting We don't like flirting easy guys. It's Got like it. girls don't like guys that are easy. I hate a guy that'll just fuck anyone. Yeah, he sure. should be like it's flirting so with her a little bit, but it should be clear that that it's not going to happen for her. Like right. just enough to keep her interest is kind of hot. Then it's like everybody's looking at my man. I like exactly. That. Got exactly. It. All right. That makes sense. S sexy son syndrome. If all the girls want to fuck, it's like Pete Davidson. Yes. yes. All these girls want to yes. fuck him, so other girls are like, I guess I want to fuck him. Yeah. He must have something or be something. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. But if Pete Davidson was fucking every single girl and not just Kim Kardashian and uh, this girl. His value girl, would go way down. His value would be, we, you'd be like, cool. Every girl fucks him and he fucks every girl. There's no, They cancel each other out. There's nothing there. Because sometimes guys get shit for being... Shallow. Oh, he only fucks super hot girls. He's so shallow. He's so whatever. But then you're like, that also makes him more valuable. If he's fucking only hot girls. I don't think for me. I, well, I guess men and women see it different. But I've seen. I've known some men that have fucked like really cool chicks that weren't ugly, and I still think they get. I still think it's kind of the same. Uh, yeah. No reaction from me as a woman. I'm still think that like he still holds value, even if she's not attractive, but she's like, but she's cool. cool. Yeah, she's got to like because I think right. women truly or, like, see something fucking cool. If yeah. she's talented in any way, or yeah, I still see like yeah. women will find all sorts of different reasons to admire each other. Like it's not just in looks. Sure. So like if a girl who I admire for one reason or another is into you, that would up your value. Yes. Kind of. Yeah. Yes. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. This is great stuff. Yeah, as long as you're not fucking like, oh, it, like it's just gross. There's nothing more unattractive than seeing a guy you're into like flirting with like the drunkest, trashiest chick at the oh, bar. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. like, oh, you the like easy just... target. Yeah, yeah, it's gross. Yeah. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> Got it. So this is kind of shallow of ladies. Like, oh, you only fuck hot ladies or cool ladies. I like you more. Yeah. But shallow in the way that it's like because we're adding cool ladies in there, I think it makes that's it less true. Well, only because we're it's just also like a we want you to fuck good people. Yeah, because right. you're also going to fuck us. So it's like uh -huh. if you're fucking me and you fuck that girl, am I that girl? That's yeah. it. Is that exactly. where I am? That's fascinating. And it's it's a more a matter of intention than actually like who the girl is. Like if you're fucking a girl because you think she's cool, and yeah. I don't necessarily think she's cool, then I that's still cool. That's it's still just, cool. It's just a matter of like dudes want it like not being able to keep their dick in their pants and like fucking just anybody who like that's not attractive. so it's kind of like sluts male sluts are gross and yeah. guys think girl sluts yeah are guys gross. that have like some sort of value like value themselves enough to be like i'm not just gonna fuck anybody I'm right. gonna look for her. there's uh, okay the thing oh i think it goes right back to the beginning the thing about fucking a bunch of women is it seems beta like you have to fuck them because you're gonna run out 
It's mm. like a dude that can fuck anyone can fuck a girl at any time. Yeah. So he doesn't need to be at the bar looking for the grossest, sluttiest, like sweatiest chick there. Right. So it's like uh, you don't even seem like you have good dick if you'll just fuck whoever. Ooh. Okay. Does that make sense? It that does. It really sense. does. Now but I get it. It's like kind of unattractive because it's like oh, beautifully you're articulated, just... actually. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm a fucking poet. Here, here. A dick poet. <laughs> a dick poet. <laughs> um. Never mind. <laughs> it gonna, wasn't going to be funny. You were going to spit out a poem just I now. was going to bomb. <laughs> uh. <laughs> freestyle for us. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, I stopped fucking this guy one time. I was fucking this guy for years. And then he got a girlfriend, and I was like, oh, we should stop hooking up. And he was like, we're in an open relationship. And I, and whenever that happens, I literally like to meet the girl, because I'm yeah. like, that's the new lie that yeah, men say. Yeah, let me find right. out that that's the truth. Yeah. Right. And, and I met her, and she was, they were in an open relationship, but she was the sluttiest mm. like it was like like uh, uh pamela anderson vibes like Got it. like just not and i hooked up both of them one more time and i couldn't after that and he asked me why and i was like i just you can't be inside both of us i don't know how to explain this yeah <laughs> but i don't want you to bring whatever's inside her inside of me right it right. feels like it stays with you a little bit it's like sure. i don't want to biologically be a part of her at all <laughs> i get it i get that that yeah. makes sense. You better fuck hot. Ch- if you're putting anything in me, it better be hot, talented chicks. Yeah. But I think for a guy, it's a little <laughs> yes. different because it's so hard for a guy to get laid. I mean, it's easier now with the apps and everything. But to get from like standing here with a woman to bedroom naked fucking, it's a lot of steps. And I think that's why a lot of guys are like, oh, I'll fuck that drunk girl at the bar or that sweaty chick because they're like, I don't know when I'm going to get laid again. Right, and maybe I, this is '90s well, talking because yeah, I grew it's up. It's initial the startup. Apps. You gotta, you yeah, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta start somewhere. Yeah. I think another really big difference is that, like, at the end of the, it's the goal that we have for the end of the night. Like, it is different for men and women. Like, women want to feel like if we had sex with somebody, it was somebody who put out good vibes all night. It's important that like the vibe was good and that we see this person as being like a positive entity in the uh-huh. world. Uh, do you agree with that? I thought you liked the bad boy. Uh, That's not positive. Somebody who's... Yeah, no, I don't want the guy that r- killed the vibe all night. Nobody right. wants that guy. Okay. Yeah, nobody no, wants the guy that's making it's everyone not laugh necessarily or is cool. A good guy, bad or that's guy, the good thing. host. It's or right. like, like a good lead. vibe. Right. Like a guy will definitely uh, like go home with a girl who's been annoying him all night long just to get to the sex part. He's been putting up with the annoyance. Yes. We won't do that no. at all. Never. Right. No. Right. Put up with you being annoying so we could get to sex later. That's crazy. Yeah. Because most of the time, at least like six out of ten times, the sex isn't even that great. Sure. So it's like, we're not going to put up with this all night for you to just come fuck us for 30 seconds. It's yeah. crazy. And right. then feel like you got something out of it. Yeah. Like, right. And then you like, win. You, like, you come. Right. And then you just <laughs> leave. Drag it. You were like, annoying yeah. all night. Then you came and you leave. This is why we don't like you guys. Yeah, it's crazy. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> directly so, at me. I throw my coffee at his face. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. No, I mean, every guy, I've been that guy where you're annoying all night. Then you're like, what the hell? You won't have sex with me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We've all been there. Well, girls could get away with it, though. Yeah. They'd be annoying all fucking night. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Exactly. could truly do anything. Anything. I, one time I was flirting with a guy, and I threw a candy bar at his head. Nice. And he still was into you. Yeah, he was into me. He didn't fuck, but he was into what? me. What? I remember that. He had a girlfriend. I saw that. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's one way of flirting. Yeah. You were high. I was wildly high. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Seems like if you're high, right. you'd eat the candy bar. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I was a different kind of high. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't candy bar high. She was skank fest high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was acid high. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you uh, did that roast on acid. Yeah. That's impressive. I That was so fucking scary. I bet. Those roasts are scary in general. <laughs> yeah. That was the scariest roast I've ever done. Yeah. Then you got your like... ex-boyfriend here. Everybody's joking, shitting on you. Uh, yeah. And you're on acid. And you got a kill in front and of these I'm killers. And I'm the only girl. And you're the girl. And you, yeah. Bro. It's like so much pressure. You were going over your set so soon before the show, good, dude. Good. I mean, I had finished writing 10 minutes before. 10 minutes before wow. the show I also, started. Th- there were jokes that had just been I kind of fucked yeah. up. I didn't crazy. realize it was going to be so big right it was and then, massive and, and was then i was like the day of, i was like i should finish my jokes and everybody who had jokes like printed and tony was like we're talking about the roast of luis J. gomez at skank fest south yes. by the way yeah and everybody and tony had like his shit printed and memorized and i was like oh y'all took this like oh yeah 
y'all wrote for this. And then I started panicking. And yeah. then I was already on acid. <laughs> and then I was like, I guess I'll just make Ari be on acid too. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and you're one of the only people who wrote most of their jokes. Yeah. Everybody else fa- farms it out. Alex got one in there. Hey. Again. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we sat down and just started fucking putting them in, in the, the two yeah our brains were on overdrive dude. i, it was I like left three my days notes. of acid Oof. sitting there looking at these yes, notes being like the got show is in too. an hour <laughs> uh i left my notes on the stage when we left the roast and i guess a fan jumped on stage and grabbed them oh wow so someone just has all these mean things. You know how you say other mean things about yeah. people's business? Yeah. She's a, she has like everybody's name circled with just like ugly. Perfect. Fat. Like <laughs> just like just, and also like personal <laughs> shit. Who knows? And yeah. I was like, no, nah, this might be not <laughs> people know. And this dude just grabbed it. And I guess he told me he was like, Yeah, he sold it. He said people were begging to buy the Whoa. notes after the stage. And he was like, No, 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 I'm gonna keep them. And then he sold one page of my Davis David Lucas. Because he was supposed to oh, He was supposed to be there. Yeah, and it just said that he's fat and black. And he was like, that's the only page I sold. <laughs> Shane Gillis, impotent, just in the margins. <laughs> yeah, it was mean. It was mean. Just the well, fat and notes. black is just, those are facts. Yeah, but as a comic, someone finding your notes is tragic. Of course, of it's course. It's like someone finding your diary. It's like yeah. in elementary school when you'd write mean th- notes to each other. Yes. Like, that, like somebody finding a note that was meant for it to be passed across the classroom. Yeah. It's bad. Luckily, they're pretty obscure, though. It's like Holocaust, Candy bar. Retard. Retard gay. <laughs> yeah. Too. Yeah, but then you turn the next page and it's a lineup of all my bills I need to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh fuck. Um me and Alex are going on a ski trip tomorrow. Whoa. So I'm going next week. Where okay. are you guys going? We're going to Camelback in the Poconos. Ooh. I've never been there. I'm excited. That'll be fun. Yeah. So this is my question. So you ski a lot? Not really. I'm just going. It's me, Ari, Kreischer, uh, Gillis. It's like a fun DeRosa. So we're. Are you guys skiing or snowboarding? Both. I'm on a snowboard. They're skiing. Okay. So this is the problem we're coming across. Help us, maybe. I want to snowboard. Hold on. Let's give him background. Let's give him some background. Okay. Um, Kim has snowboarded before when she was like 15. Okay. Okay. I've and skied. Oh. And she skied. I've skied once before last winter for like a four day trip and I got pretty good at it. Mm-hmm. But my the way that my soul wants to snowboard. Like yeah. I saw people snowboarding and I was like listening to like the sound it makes. I was like, that's my future, right? So for a full year, I've been talking about snowboarding. I've been like, next time we go, I'm snowboarding. Mm-hmm. It's happening. It's gonna be great. But you've never done it. I've never done it. All right, in my take you mind, a day. I could, I'm gonna exactly okay. So now we're going on this two day ski trip. Oh, so and do you waste a day training and practicing, or do you ski right away? Exactly. So I've so I'm sort of bitching out on the snowboarding. I feel like I want to get the most of this trip and ski the whole time. Mm-hmm. And we've almost started a, a friendship ending fight over it. Interesting. <laughs> because I really want to snowboard. And when I did snowboard, I remember picking it up within an hour or two. Yeah. But they're saying even when one person skis and one person snowboards, it's just different. It's like different. walking is different and it's all but you're gonna do it and other people are skiing, so you don't have you don't feel worried about that? No, like... they they make fun of me because snowboarding's like a little little kiddier. You know, is skiing it? is like adult. Snowboarding is like, See, what do you for me, extreme X Games? Out of the two, skiing seems very white and snowboarding seems like cool hip hop. I think so I'm right. like, I snowboarding do that seems that... more X Games. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I'm saying like it just seems like out of the two, skiing seems like for like older white people. Right, right. And snowboarding seems like fun. Got some edge. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. So I I'm get like, it. why wouldn't, like, it just it seems more fun, but I guess. I don't know. I really want to snowboard. I don't want to snowboard. Ski. You guys should snowboard together. They don't. You think, s- you think I'll pick it up in a f- in one day? In and one I'm day, yeah. Out of shape. I have no. Ca- my cardio's down, and I already know. Ugh, I'm scared. You'll be able to go down the mountain, but it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> but to me, I grew up skateboarding, so I have me to too. stand sideways. Me too, and the, that's the, the thought of going on. straight. I can't. And the thought like of those it. things being long yes, and separating yes. it gives me anxiety. And I'm Same. like, I just feel like naturally, I would. I can get on a snowboard and do it. I think, yeah. and the everybody's answer. really upset no, because they're it. like, "You're not going to be able to keep up. It's going to be awkward when we try to hang out." And I'm like, "Am I? Will I be able to keep up?" This I'm asking you. I think you will, but they're going to be going down the Black Diamond, where you might be on a lesser slope. 
Where I'm not go I'm going down a blue if I'm lucky. Even on skis, that's how I feel. I, I don't have the confidence with this. I'm I excited. think I could. You have all the confidence that it probably needs to do this, honestly. It's the, the the difference is in our attitudes. Yeah, go with the gut. Get the snowboard. That's what I think I'm gonna I do. I think I think that's the answer. I think I should ski and I think you should snowboard. Wow. And look, let's be honest, we all think we're gonna be skiing side by side and high fiving and holding hands. No, you you get on your board and you do your own thing anyway. Yeah. You meet, and then at, the you lodge meet up at the lodge and have a beer. That's and true. Some chili. It's true. Yeah. I kinda like that. Yeah. I like that. You know what? I've been so anxious about it. I bought the fucking cutest snowsuit i'm so <laughs> excited point where like i f i'm gonna feel like shit on the streets <laughs> i'm gonna yeah. feel like fucking garbage a homeless person who made it to ski skiing somehow yeah i bought one of those like instagram ones that are like really extra right good it's like shiny and glossy in one piece and like well they'll be able to find you when you hit a tree <laughs> <laughs> the helicopter pulls up the gold snowsuit lady um, get the puerto rican we found her There's one nail coming out of the snow uh mark i know you got a bit hard mm. out so let's let's uh end it here thank you so much for coming on our podcast hey sorry i gotta run we don't we're not gonna do the digital anal thermometer i know I, I wish we could stick this up your ass i Shit, know we i'll come back time. i'll yeah, come back you'll yeah. have to come up would you put this in your ass sure. if you, really Sure, yeah. That's right. a small little nozzle there. Yeah, yeah we picked a tiny tip. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Where can people find you? Uh, MarkNormanComedy.com for dates. I'm all over the road. Uh, Tuesdays with stories. We might be drunk. Twitter, Instagram. Praise Allah. I love that. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon, on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Uh, check out my other podcast, This Bitch with Sarah Weinshank. Um, and follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash queenkong1. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at I am Alex Scar. Also, check out Stick and Portly, Watch Rick and Morty every Monday right after Legion of Skanks, only on GasDigitalNetwork.com slash live. Uh, you could sign up for GasDigitalNetwork.com with promo code TOPIX, T-O-P-I-X. You're going to get a free trial, access to every single show on demand, bonus content, uh, live chats, all the really good stuff. Head to PodcastMerch.com for t-shirts, nice uh, hoodies, hats, tank tops we actually have everything right now we have a bunch of different designs mm -hmm. check it out um and yeah thanks for listening everybody thanks for coming in mark hey you sure we're all right at 40 minutes so i don't want to you know short you no it's okay no, we it's usually go good. about 45 we go about 45 okay, okay. so you're good so you yeah. guys can yeah. throw some other stuff no, yeah, in yeah, yeah we're good all, all right worries. just checking thank you for being on we'll see you guys next week bye bye <laughs>